Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. No, I'm so lame. I'm so excited. We're doing the board embedding wall today. So it's gonna be this big wall here. And sorry if I'm echoing because um when I move the bed back, it's kind of echoing a little bit. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started today. I went and got the supplies. We put we stopped by Home Depot today, and I ended up getting a four by eight and half inch MDF board. I ended up getting it cut down to four inch um strips. Um, so four inch by eight foot strips. Um, so that's what we're gonna actually use to do the install today. So I end up picking up one um, one sheet of the MDL. I think it was about thirty two dollars. Um, I end up only needing one um, panel. Um, it ended up making me about maybe fifteen boards. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna use we're gonna use that for the while. And I'm picking up two containers of liquid nails, and of course I'm gonna use my brad nailer as well to get it put up. And yeah, we're gonna get started. So I'm super excited. Um, and don't forget to make sure that you like and subscribe um, to my new YouTube channel. You guys have been asking and asking on my Instagram. So I'm finally transitioning over to YouTube. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So um, yeah, just keep watching. All right, so I actually have a little grid that I created. Um, I like to map out my project just so I can kind of keep a track of. I know how many, much material I'm going to need. And just kind of get my measurements, kind of get an idea, a ballpark of my measurements as well. Um, so, yeah, so let me set this to the side. So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five panels, five boxes, and then three rows of the boxes. Uh, in between each panel, I kind of mark out, you guys can see, they're going to be like 26 by 9 in between each um, panel, uh, inside each box. But yeah, so we're going to do, I'm going to leave the bottom trim, uh, back, bottom baseboard here. And then I'm going to add, of course, a top piece and then two side boards as well. But yeah, so this is what it looks like so far. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to take my camera outside and we're going to go ahead and get to cutting and get the mock, get it cut down to size. So right now you guys will see me go in and just measure out the baseboard and also um, the top I mean the side um, walls as well to make sure that everything is going to be accurate when I go out to cut um, all the wood to size. I'm not going to cut everything all at once. I'm going to do an individual just to make sure that uh, I don't waste any board. So now I'm going to just go outside and start cutting um, the boards down to size. So again, I'm going to measure one more time just to make sure um, everything is going to be the correct measurement. And you'll see me go in now and just um, get to cutting. Now I'm going to go in and put my first board up. I'm going to do the side boards first and then I'll tackle the top trim. And again, these boards were cut down to four inch strips, about eight foot. And then I'm cutting them down to size when I got them home. I uh, end up cutting the top piece into a 45 degree angle to make sure they give it a more smooth look on top. And then now I'm going to go in and do the middle boards. And again, I'm going to be using my bread nailer along with the liquid nails as well. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rossing the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. I end up 
cutting a piece of wood down to size for the, the length I wanted each box and I'm using it as a guide to make sure all my boxes were the exact same size. That's a really good tip. If you're wanting to make sure that all the boxes end up lining up correctly, make sure you just cut and maybe a template out uh, or use a piece of scrap wood to make sure that you're using uh, their every box is going to be the exact same size. So that's what I end up doing to make sure that I got a consistent look across the board. So you'll see me go back and just have to go back and cut um, the additional boards. I'm doing two boards at a time just to make sure that, um, again, I'm not overwhelming myself. And also make sure that everything is cut accurately. I'm doing two boxes at a time just to make sure that uh, everything ends up being really, um, really square and really uh, as close as possible to be the same length and size across the board. And you'll see my son do a little intro in the video. Again, I am my mom first. Um, while I'm trying to mid up DIY and make sure that he's good. And also you may see my husband fly across the screen as well. I promise you every single every time I get ready to go and record, somebody needed something. Uh, if you're a mom, you know exactly what that means and how that goes. Um, right now I'm going in, just cocking all the seams, and I'm gonna go in and fill in my nail holes with some spackling as well. And then I'm gonna sand all that down with my palm sander. Um, as well. So now I'm going to go in and start cutting out the wall. I'm going to do each box and cut it out uh, with my um, brush and then you'll see me come back with a roller to finish out um, the paint. Uh, the color I'm using is called Pure White by Sherwin Williams. So if you have not seen this color or not um, sure what white to go with this, I would definitely recommend this particular color. It's very bright. It's like a bright but still a really warm um, white. So it's not like a stark white, but it really brightens up the space. Uh, so I'm super excited. The first coat, I wasn't really sure. And then I went in to do the second coat. I was like, yeah, okay, uh, I'm really feeling the color now. So yeah, Sherwin Williams um, Pure White is the color I end up choosing. So again, I'm just going to go in and cut out all the boxes to make sure um, it's going to be easier and I go in with my roller to roll everything out. If you guys are really into DIY, I would love if you guys would subscribe to my channel. Here you're going to see me do a lot of home um, decor videos, but also a lot of DIYs um, like this particular wall here. Um, and also, you know, some lifestyle videos as well. So I would love if you guys would um, like, comment, and subscribe um, to my channel. Um, so if you love to see this kind of content, definitely it's going to be some more coming down the pipeline very soon. And now I'm going to go in and do my second coat. So this is after the first coat of paint. It's already looking so nice. So I'm going to go in now and do my second coat. And we're going to call this a wrap. So if you haven't already done so, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what projects you guys are working on for your home now. I would love to see um, what you guys have on your to-do list. Because uh, this is definitely going to be part one of a five-part series of 50 projects under $50 um, that we're going to be doing on the channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned for part two. I'm super excited for you guys to see that one. And let me know what you guys think about this particular project in the comments below.